The potential for edible fungi cultivation in New Zealand is good because of our ability to supply the gourmet market in the Northern Hemisphere in their off-season. Plant and food research have identified black truffles, Italian white truffles and saffron milkcat mushrooms as the most promising varieties for cultivation. French mushroom specialist Dr Alexi Guerin explains. One of our main clients is a forest company in New Zealand and they are very keen in developing uh, mushrooms as a secondary product from their forest. And because they grow mainly red and pine, that's why we're working on that species in particular. But we work with other species as well. This is um, a trial plantation with pines and a mushroom called saffron milkcap, which is growing on the roots of the trees. It has been inoculated onto the roots of the trees when they were young and in the lab, and we have outplanted them here for six years. Oh, there's two. Oh, there's another one. Wow. Mushroom is very popular in Europe, uh, Russia. Its price could be around 30 euros a kilogram in Barcelona. Uh, here in New Zealand, there is one plantation in Nelson, uh, and I think the price was around 40 dollars per kilogram. But it's a rare mushroom, so it's a novelty, and it's, I think uh, will be quite uh, popular very soon. We are a team dedicated to research on cultivation of what we call edible mycorrhizal fungi, which is a complex name, but just to mean symbiotic truffles and mushrooms, which grow with living trees, colonize the roots of the trees. And these organisms are still quite challenging to grow, just because they need a living tree to grow. So it's all about setting up methods and protocols to introduce them on trees, and next step to get them to fruit consistently. I think there's pretty two ways you can see the fungi will try to grow. Uh, one is like truffles or very variable mushrooms, matsutake or porcini. You could actually, the main goal would be to grow the mushrooms or the truffles themselves, and you don't really care about the timber, so in intensive plantations. But another way we could do it with like saffron milk cap is like a secondary product of the forest. That's a seedling about over one year old now. Usually what happens is that on a two months old seedlings, on a clean root system, we will apply what we call inoculum, which is a, a mat of hyphae or filaments that have been grown on a, on a nutrient medium. What we see here is a pine root, main root, with some attached lateral roots. And you can see that the root tips here are actually, they look orange. Why? Because they are covered in the mycelium of saffron milk cap. Fungus enter the root and live around the root. And they live together. It's, um, it's a true symbiosis in, because the fungus supply the tree with water and nutrients. It can do it much better than the fi finest roots. But this is not free. In exchange, the tree is supplying the fungus with sugars, mostly from the photosynthesis. So that's applied with the piece of the flesh of the mushroom that we just put on a, a pure agar medium, which contains nutrients, glucose, amino acids. And after a few weeks, you can see that some filaments have grown from each piece of flesh to develop into what we call a mycelium, which is actually the main body of a, of a mushroom. A mushroom, what we see is a fruit, which grows every autumn, but the fungus, the mycelium, is always there. Yeah. And And that's what we use uh, in case of saffron milk cap to uh, inoculate, to infect the trees with by putting this mycelium onto the roots. So we are able to grow this mycelium easily. It's more difficult to get the mushrooms to fruit. We are on Jeff Weston's uh, Bianchetto truffle plantation uh, near Christchurch. And a um, plantation with uh, hazels mostly here inoculated with a white truffle, one Italian white truffle. And it's been the most successful uh, truffier with that species uh, so far in New Zealand. Yeah, good boy. Oh, no! Oh. Oh. It's really nice. Wow! You said you it's just really couldn't ready. find a big one, didn't you? ka <laughs> I hope. Oh. In a way, we can say here it's the end result. It's the uh, commercial application of uh, the techniques that we uh, develop in the lab to, uh, to start cultivating truffles and mushrooms. So that's what we would like to see for mushroom species in the near future. It's when uh, people start to farm, actually, the, the truffles or the mushrooms.
This program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.